Question one, what actions should you take when you see a right lane must turn right sign? A, prepare to turn right or change to a lane that continues straight. B, stop before turning right. C, turn right immediately upon seeing the sign. Answer, A, prepare to turn right or change to a lane that continues straight. This sign indicates that you are in a lane that must turn right, so prepare for the turn or switch lanes if you intend to go straight. Question 2. How should you adjust your driving when approaching a men at work zone? A. Speed up to pass the area quickly. B. Continue at your regular speed. C. Slow down and watch for workers and equipment. Answer. C. Slow down and watch for workers and equipment. In a men at work zone, it's important to reduce speed and be vigilant for the safety of workers and to navigate any obstacles. Question 3. What does a signal ahead sign indicate and how should you prepare? A. Increase speed to cross the intersection quickly. B. Be ready to stop for a traffic signal ahead. C. The sign is only advisory and requires no action. Answer. B. Be ready to stop for a traffic signal ahead. This sign warns you of an upcoming traffic signal, so you should prepare to stop if necessary. Question 4. What precautions are necessary on a road with a steep road sign? A. Maintain your current speed. B. Use lower gears and be prepared for a change in elevation. C. Pull over and check your brakes. Answer. B. Use lower gears and be prepared for a change in elevation. A steep road sign indicates a sharp incline or decline, and using lower gears can help maintain control. Question 5. What should you be aware of when driving near a hospital with a hospital sign posted? A. Be prepared for increased pedestrian and emergency vehicle traffic. B. Hospitals generally have a lower speed limit. C. Hospital signs indicate a parking area for visitors. Answer. A. Be prepared for increased pedestrian and emergency vehicle traffic. Near hospitals, expect more pedestrians and frequent entry slash exit of emergency vehicles. Question 6. What does turning traffic must yield to pedestrians signify for drivers making turns? A. Pedestrians have the right of way, and turning vehicles must yield. B. Pedestrians should yield to vehicles. C. The sign only applies to pedestrian-controlled crossings. Answer. A. Pedestrians have the right of way, and turning vehicles must yield. This sign indicates that drivers must yield to pedestrians when making turns. Question 7. How do you navigate an intersection with a double lane left turn only and straight lane no U-turn sign? A. All lanes can turn left. B. Choose the correct lane based on your intended direction. Left turn or straight. C. U-turns are permitted in all lanes. Answer. B. Choose the correct lane based on your intended direction. Left turn or straight. This sign indicates designated lanes for left turns and going straight, with no U-turns allowed. Question 8. What does a right lane must exit sign tell you about your lane choice on a highway? A. The right lane continues straight, while other lanes exit. B. You must exit if you are in the right lane. C. All lanes will eventually have to exit. Answer. B. You must exit if you are in the right lane. This sign indicates that the right lane is an exit-only lane, and staying in this lane means you will be exiting the highway. Question 9. How should you approach a railroad crossing with a four-track sign? A. Proceed without stopping, as trains are infrequent. B. Stop at the crossing and look for trains. C. Be especially cautious and look for multiple trains. Answer. C. Be especially cautious and look for multiple trains. A four-track sign at a railroad crossing means there are multiple tracks, so be extra cautious and look for more than one train. Question 10. 
What are the parking rules in an area marked with a handicap parking sign? A. Anyone can park for a short duration. B. Only vehicles with a valid handicap placard or license plate can park. C. The sign is for information only and has no legal standing. Answer. B. Only vehicles with a valid handicap placard or license plate can park. Handicap parking signs designate parking spaces reserved for vehicles with a handicap placard or license plate. Question 11. How do you adjust your driving when encountering a road narrow sign? A. Maintain your current speed and direction. B. Be prepared for reduced lane width and potential obstructions. C. This sign requires you to find an alternate route. Answer. B. Be prepared for reduced lane width and potential obstructions. A road narrow sign means the roadway ahead will have less width, requiring caution and possible adjustments. Question 12. What should you do when you see a road work ahead sign? A. Accelerate to pass the area quickly. B. Continue at your regular speed. C. Slow down and be prepared for changing road conditions and workers. Answer. C. Slow down and be prepared for changing road conditions and workers. This sign indicates upcoming road work, so you should reduce speed and be alert for changes in workers. Question 13. How should you navigate a road with a rough road sign? A. Continue at the same speed. B. Slow down to protect your vehicle from potential damage. C. The sign is for trucks only. Answer. B. Slow down to protect your vehicle from potential damage. A rough road sign indicates an uneven or damaged road surface, so slowing down is advisable. Question 14. What actions are required when you see a lane-closed sign ahead on the highway? A. Immediately merge into an open lane. B. Ignore the sign if the lane closure is invisible. C. Continue in your lane until the closure starts. Answer. A. Immediately merge into an open lane. When you see a lane closed sign, prepare to merge safely into an open lane as soon as possible. Question 15. What should you expect when driving on a road with a pavement end sign? A. The road will become a gravel or dirt path. B. The road will lead into a private property. C. The sign indicates a scenic viewpoint ahead. Answer. A. The road will become a gravel or dirt path. A pavement end sign warns that the hard surfaced pavement will transition to gravel or dirt. Question 16. What does the left turn or U-turn only on green sign indicate at an intersection? A. Left turns and U-turns are allowed anytime. B. Wait for a green signal before making a left turn or U-turn. C. Proceed with caution without waiting for a green signal. Answer. B. Wait for a green signal before making a left turn or U-turn. This sign means you must wait for a green light to make a left turn or U-turn. Question 17. How should you adjust your driving for a soft shoulder sign? A. Drive on the shoulder as needed. B. Avoid pulling over onto the shoulder unless necessary. C. The shoulder is safe for stopping and parking. Answer. B. Avoid pulling over onto the shoulder unless necessary. Soft shoulder means the side of the road may not be stable, so avoid using it unless in an emergency. Question 18. What does a camping area sign indicate, and how might it affect driving conditions? A. Increase traffic and pedestrians near camping areas. B. The sign is solely for information and has no impact on driving. C. Camping is allowed on the roadside. Answer. A. Increase traffic and pedestrians near camping areas. This sign indicates proximity to a camping area, so expect more vehicles and pedestrians. Question 19. How do you properly execute a turn at an intersection with a right turn sign? A. Turn right immediately upon seeing the sign. B. Stop before making a right turn. C. 
prepare to make a right turn, observing traffic and pedestrians. Answer C. Prepare to make a right turn, observing traffic and pedestrians. When you see a right turn sign, prepare to turn right, ensuring it's safe to do so. Question 20. What does a right turn only sign mean for your lane choice and turning options? A. You may turn right or continue straight if the road is clear. B. You are in a lane where turning right is the only legal option. C. The sign is advisory and does not mandate a right turn. Answer. B. You are in a lane where turning right is the only legal option. This sign indicates that you must make a right turn and cannot go straight or left. Question 21. When is it appropriate to use your vehicle's emergency flashers? A. When parked and temporarily obstructing traffic. B. As a regular signal for turning or changing lanes. C. Only in emergencies, such as vehicle breakdowns or when driving very slowly. Answer. C. Only in emergencies, such as vehicle breakdowns or when driving very slowly. Emergency flashers should be used to warn others of a hazard or when your vehicle is stationary and obstructing traffic due to an emergency. Question 22. How do you safely navigate through an area marked as a school zone? A. Maintain your regular speed unless children are present. B. Accelerate to clear the area quickly. C. Reduce your speed and watch for children and crossing guards. Answer. C. Reduce your speed and watch for children and crossing guards. In a school zone, it's important to slow down and be vigilant for children and crossing guards, especially during school hours. Question 23. What is the correct action to take when approaching a yield sign? A. Proceed without slowing down. B. Slow down and yield the right-of-way to traffic and pedestrians. C. Stop completely every time. Answer. B. Slow down and yield the right-of-way to traffic and pedestrians. A yield sign requires you to slow down and yield to all traffic and pedestrians in or approaching the intersection. Question 24. How do you determine the right-of-way at an intersection with no traffic signs or signals? A. The first vehicle to arrive has the right-of-way. B. The vehicle to the right has the right-of-way. C. Larger vehicles have the right-of-way. Answer. B. The vehicle to the right has the right-of-way. At an intersection without signs or signals, the driver on the right generally has the right-of-way. Question 25. What steps should you take if you're involved in a minor traffic collision without injuries? A. Leave the scene immediately to avoid blocking traffic. B. Exchange information with the other driver and report the accident if necessary. C. Wait for the police to arrive before doing anything. Answer. B. Exchange information with the other driver and report the accident if necessary. In a minor collision, exchange contact and insurance information with the other driver and report the accident if required. Question 26. How should you adjust your driving in response to a deer crossing sign? A. Ignore the sign as animals rarely cross. B. Speed up to pass the area quickly. C. Slow down and be alert for wildlife on or near the roadway. Answer. C. Slow down and be alert for wildlife on or near the roadway. Deer crossing signs indicate areas where wildlife is common, so reduce speed and stay alert. Question 27. What actions are required when driving through a tunnel? A. Maintain your speed and use your high beams. B. Slow down. Turn on your headlights and follow any posted signs. C. Accelerate to clear the tunnel quickly. Answer. B. Slow down, turn on your headlights, and follow any posted signs. When driving through a tunnel, reduce speed, turn on your headlights, and adhere to any specific tunnel rules. Question 28. In California, under what conditions are U-turns at traffic lights permitted? A. Only when a U-turn permitted sign is posted. B. At any traffic light unless a sign prohibits it. 
C. U-turns at traffic lights are always prohibited. Answer. A. Only when a U-turn permitted sign is posted. U-turns at traffic lights are allowed in California unless there is a sign specifically prohibiting them. Question 29. How should you handle a situation where your vehicle begins to skid on a wet road? A. Steer in the direction you want to go and gently ease off the gas. B. Apply the brakes firmly and hold the steering wheel straight. C. Accelerate to regain control of the vehicle. Answer. A. Steer in the direction you want to go and gently ease off the gas. In a skid, steer in the direction you want to go and gently ease off the gas to regain control. Question 30. What are the rules regarding the use of a cell phone while driving in California? A. Handheld use is allowed for all drivers. B. Use is permitted only with a hands-free device. C. Any use of a cell phone while driving is prohibited. Answer. B. Use is permitted only with a hands-free device. In California, drivers are allowed to use cell phones only with hands-free devices, except for certain exceptions like emergency calls. Question 31. How do you properly adjust your mirrors to minimize blind spots? A. Position the mirrors to see a large area behind and to the sides of your vehicle. B. Set the side mirrors to partially see the side of your car. C. Adjust the mirrors inward to focus directly behind your vehicle. Answer. A. Position the mirrors to see a large area behind and to the sides of your vehicle. Properly adjusted mirrors reduce blind spots and improve visibility around the vehicle. Question 32. What is the significance of a solid yellow line on your side of the road? A. It indicates that passing is allowed. B. It separates lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions. C. It marks a no-passing zone on your side of the road. Answer. C. It marks a no-passing zone on your side of the road. A solid yellow line on your side means passing is not allowed in that direction. Question 33. How do you safely share the road with bicycles and motorcycles? A. Keep a safe distance and be aware of their right to use the road. B. Bicycles and motorcycles should always yield to cars. C. Honk to alert them of your presence. Answer. A. Keep a safe distance and be aware of their right to use the road. Drivers should maintain a safe distance when sharing the road with bicycles and motorcycles, respecting their rights and space. Question 34. What should you do when encountering a funeral procession while driving? A. Pass the procession quickly. B. Yield the right of way until the procession has passed. C. Join the procession to avoid delays. Answer. B. Yield the right of way until the procession has passed. Show respect and yield to funeral processions, allowing them to pass uninterrupted. Question 35. How should you respond to a merge sign on a highway? A. Speed up and merge aggressively. B. Yield to traffic already on the highway and merge safely. C. Stop before merging onto the highway. Answer. B. Yield to traffic already on the highway and merge safely. A merge sign indicates that lanes are coming together and drivers should yield to traffic and merge safely. Question 36. What is the legal requirement for using safety belts in California for adults and children? A. Safety belts are required for front seat passengers only. B. All vehicle occupants, regardless of age, must wear a safety belt. C. Children under 12 are exempt from wearing safety belts. Answer. B. All vehicle occupants, regardless of age, must wear a safety belt. In California, all passengers and drivers must wear safety belts, regardless of their age or seating position. Question 37. How do you handle a situation where an emergency vehicle is approaching with lights and sirens on? A. Continue driving at the same speed. B. Pull over to the right and stop. C. Speed up to clear the way for the emergency vehicle. 
Answer, B, pull over to the right and stop. When an emergency vehicle approaches with sirens and lights, pull over to the right and stop to allow it to pass. Question 38. What are the guidelines for driving in heavy fog? A. Use high beam headlights for better visibility. B. Maintain your normal speed and focus. C. Reduce speed, use low beam headlights, and increase following distance. Answer. C. Reduce speed, use low beam headlights, and increase following distance. In heavy fog, it's important to slow down, use low beams, and keep a greater distance from the vehicle ahead for safety. Question 39. How do you proceed when you come to a four-way stop with other vehicles? A. The vehicle that arrives first has the right of way. B. Vehicles on the right have the right of way. C. Larger vehicles have the right of way. Answer. A. The vehicle that arrives first has the right of way. At a four-way stop, the first vehicle to arrive at the intersection has the right of way. If two vehicles arrive at the same time, the vehicle on the right goes first. Question 40. What precautions should you take when driving near large trucks or buses? A. Drive closely behind them for better visibility. B. Be aware of their larger blind spots and longer stopping distances. C. Always overtake trucks and buses quickly. Answer. B. Be aware of their larger blind spots and longer stopping distances. When driving near large trucks or buses, be mindful of their blind spots, wider turns, and the need for longer distances to stop. Question 41. How should you respond to a flashing red traffic light? A. Stop completely, then proceed when safe. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Treat it as a yield sign. Answer. A. Stop completely, then proceed when safe. A flashing red light is treated as a stop sign, so you must come to a complete stop and then proceed when the way is clear and safe. Question 42. What are the consequences of not stopping for a school bus with flashing red lights? A. A warning for the first offense. B. A possible fine and increased insurance rates. C. No consequences if no children are visible. Answer. B. A possible fine and increased insurance rates. Failing to stop for a school bus with flashing red lights can result in fines and may impact your insurance rates due to the serious safety risk involved. Question 43. How do you determine the right of way at a roundabout? A. Vehicles in the roundabout must yield to entering traffic. B. Vehicles entering the roundabout have the right of way. C. Yield to vehicles already in the roundabout and enter when safe. Answer. C. Yield to vehicles already in the roundabout and enter when safe. When approaching a roundabout, you must yield to traffic already circulating and enter when it's safe and clear. Question 44. What should you do if you miss your freeway exit? A. Reverse or stop on the freeway to access the exit. B. Continue to the next exit and then find a way back. C. Cross over to the exit through the median. Answer. B. Continue to the next exit and then find a way back. If you miss your freeway exit, it's safest to continue to the next exit and reroute from there. Question 45. How does the slippery when wet sign affect your driving behavior? A. Maintain your normal driving speed. E. Increase your speed to maintain traction. C. Slow down and avoid sudden maneuvers. Answer. C. Slow down and avoid sudden maneuvers. When you see a slippery when wet sign, it's important to reduce your speed and avoid abrupt actions like sharp turns or hard braking. Question 46. When is the appropriate way to react to an ambulance driving behind you with its lights and siren on? A. Speed up to clear the lane. B. Pull over to the right and stop. C. Continue at the same speed in your lane. Answer. B. Pull over to the right and stop. When an ambulance approaches with sirens and lights, 
pull to the right side of the road, and stop to allow it to pass. Question 47. What are the rules for parking on a hill with and without a curb? A. Always turn your wheels away from the curb. B. Turn your wheels away from the curb if there is one, otherwise turn them towards the side of the road. C. You cannot park on hills. Answer. B. Turn your wheels away from the curb if there is one, otherwise turn them towards the side of the road. This ensures that if your vehicle starts to roll, it will move away from traffic or towards the curb. Question 48. How do you handle a situation where the traffic lights at an intersection are not working? A. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. B. The driver on the right has the right of way. C. Proceed with caution without stopping. Answer. A. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. If traffic lights are out, treat the intersection as a four-way stop, taking turns with other drivers, Question 49. What should you do if your vehicle's engine overheats while driving? A. Keep driving to your destination. B. Turn off the engine immediately and call for help. C. Pull over safely, turn off the engine, and wait for it to cool before checking the coolant. Answer. C. Pull over safely, turn off the engine, and wait for it to cool before checking the coolant. If your engine overheats, Pulling over and allowing the engine to cool is essential before you check or add coolant. Question 50. In what situations are you allowed to cross a double solid white line? A. When overtaking slower vehicles. B. To access a carpool lane during designated hours. C. Crossing a double solid white line is not permitted. Answer. C. Crossing a double solid white line is not permitted. Double solid white lines indicate that lane changes are prohibited. Question 51. How should a driver react to an added lane sign? A. Merge immediately as lanes are reducing. B. Continue in your lane as no merging is necessary. C. Yield to traffic in the added lane. Answer. B. Continue in your lane as no merging is necessary. An added lane sign indicates that a new lane begins and no merging is required. Question 52. What does a bump road sign indicate and how should you adjust your driving? A. Speed up to get over the bump quickly. B. Slow down to safely cross the bump. C. The sign is informational and requires no change in driving. Answer. B. Slow down to safely cross the bump. A bump sign warns of an uneven road surface ahead, and slowing down is advisable to cross it safely. Question 53. What actions should you take when approaching a railroad crossing with no barriers? A. Proceed without stopping. B. Slow down, look both ways, and listen for a train. C. Speed up to cross the tracks quickly. Answer. B. Slow down, look both ways, and listen for a train. At a railroad crossing without barriers, it's important to slow down and check for approaching trains. Question 54. What are the specific rules for child safety seats in California? A. Children under 8 years old must be secured in a car seat or booster. B. Child safety seats are optional for children over 5 years old. C. Children can use adult seat belts at any age. Answer. A. Children under 8 years old must be secured in a car seat or booster. In California, children under 8 must be secured in an appropriate car seat or booster. Question 55. How do you safely navigate through a parking lot with high pedestrian traffic? A. Drive at the posted speed limit. B. Slow down and yield the right of way to pedestrians. C. Honk to alert pedestrians of your presence. Answer. B. Slow down and yield the right of way to pedestrians. In parking lots, especially with high pedestrian traffic, it's important to drive slowly and yield to pedestrians. Question 56. What does a flashing yellow traffic light indicate, and how should you respond? A. 
proceed with caution. B. Stop and wait for the light to turn green. C. Accelerate to clear the intersection quickly. Answer. A. Proceed with caution. A flashing yellow light means you should slow down and proceed through the intersection with caution. Question 57. What is the correct procedure for merging onto a freeway? A. Stop at the end of the ramp and wait for a large gap in traffic. B. Use the ramp to accelerate to the speed of freeway traffic and merge when safe. C. Merge onto the freeway at a slower speed to be safe. Answer. B. Use the ramp to accelerate to the speed of freeway traffic and merge when safe. When merging onto a freeway, use the on-ramp to accelerate to the flow of traffic and merge into a safe gap. Question 58. How should you adjust your driving in response to a falling rock sign? A. Speed up to leave the area quickly. B. Keep your regular speed and watch the road. C. Be vigilant and watch for falling debris. Answer. C. Be vigilant and watch for falling debris. In areas marked with a falling rock sign, be extra cautious and keep an eye out for potential rock slides or debris on the road. Question 59. What precautions should you take when driving in an area with frequent wildlife crossings? A. Ignore the signs as animals rarely cross. B. Drive at the speed limit and use high beams at night. C. Slow down and be alert, especially at dawn and dusk. Answer. C. Slow down and be alert, especially at dawn and dusk. In areas with wildlife crossings, reduce your speed and stay alert for animals, particularly during early morning and evening hours. Question 60. How should you position your car's wheels when parking uphill with a curb? A. Turn your wheels away from the curb. B. Keep the wheels straight. C. Turn your wheels toward the curb. Answer. A. Turn your wheels away from the curb. When parking uphill with a curb, turn your wheels away from the curb so that if your car rolls, it will roll into the curb and stop. Question 61. What actions should you take if you encounter a flooded roadway sign? A. Continue at your normal speed if the water seems shallow. B. Find an alternate route. Avoid driving through the flooded area. C. Accelerate to create a wave and reduce water contact with your vehicle. Answer. B. Find an alternate route. Avoid driving through the flooded area. When encountering a flooded roadway sign, it's safest to find an alternative route as driving through floodwaters can be dangerous. Question 62. How should you react to an emergency vehicle approaching from the opposite direction? A. Continue driving without changing lanes. B. Pull over to the right and stop, even on a divided highway. C. Only pull over if you are on a single lane road. Answer. A. Continue driving without changing lanes. On a divided highway, you do not need to pull over for an emergency vehicle approaching from the opposite direction. Question 63. What is the legal blood alcohol concentration? Basie. Limit for drivers over 21 in California. A. 0. 8%. B. 0. 5%. C. There is no specific limit as long as you feel sober. Answer. A. 0. 8%. In California, the legal bake say limit for drivers over 21 is 0. 8%. Question 64. How should you adjust your driving on a road with a sharp curve ahead sign? A. Maintain your current speed. B. Increase speed to navigate the curve quickly. C. Reduce speed and approach the curve with caution. Answer. C. Reduce speed and approach the curve with caution. When encountering a sharp curve ahead sign, it's important to slow down and navigate the curve carefully. Question 65. What are the rules regarding using a mobile phone while driving in California? A. Handheld use is permitted for all drivers. B. Handheld use is allowed only at stoplights. C. Handheld use is prohibited. Only hands-free use is allowed. 
Answer, C. Handheld use is prohibited. Only hands-free use is allowed. In California, drivers are prohibited from using handheld mobile phones while driving. Question 66. How should you react to a stop sign ahead warning? A. Prepare to make a complete stop at the upcoming stop sign. B. Ignore the sign if no other vehicles are present. C. Only slow down if you see other vehicles at the intersection. Answer. A. Prepare to make a complete stop at the upcoming stop sign. A stop sign ahead warning indicates that there is a stop sign approaching and drivers should be ready to stop. Question 67. In California, what is the minimum safe following distance under good road conditions? A. 2 seconds. B. 3 seconds. C. 5 seconds. Answer. B. 3 seconds. The recommended safe following distance under good road conditions in California is at least 3 seconds. Question 68. What should you do if your vehicle starts to skid on a slippery road? A. Steer in the direction of the skid and gently apply brakes. B. Steer in the opposite direction of the skid and brake hard. C. Maintain your steering direction and ease off the gas. Answer. A. Steer in the direction of the skid and gently apply brakes. If your vehicle starts to skid, steer in the direction of the skid and gently apply the brakes to regain control. Question 69. What does a no U-turn sign mean and where is it typically found? A. U-turns are permitted at this location. B. U-turns are not permitted at this location. C. U-turns are allowed only during certain times of the day. Answer. B. U-turns are not permitted at this location. A no U-turn sign indicates that making the U-turn is prohibited at that location. Question 70. How should you respond to a school crossing sign? A. Increase speed to clear the area quickly. B. Slow down and watch for children and crossing guards. C. The sign only applies during school hours. Answer. B. Slow down and watch for children and crossing guards. A school crossing sign indicates an area where children may be crossing, so drivers should slow down and be vigilant. Question 71. What does the keep right sign mean and where is it typically found? A. It indicates a requirement to stay in the right lane. B. It is used to direct traffic to the right at a split or obstruction. C. It signifies that parking is allowed to the right. Answer. B. It is used to direct traffic to the right at a split or obstruction. The keep right sign is typically used to guide drivers to the right of an obstruction or road split. Question 72. How do you handle a situation where you encounter a tow away zone sign? A. Park for a short duration if necessary. B. Understand that parking in this area may result in your vehicle being towed. C. The sign is only a warning and has no legal standing. Answer. B. Understand that parking in this area may result in your vehicle being towed. A tow away zone sign indicates that unauthorized parking could lead to your vehicle being towed. Question 73. What is the appropriate response to a yield sign? A. Stop completely and wait for all traffic to pass. B. Proceed without slowing down. C. Slow down or stop to let crossing traffic and pedestrians pass before proceeding. Answer. C. Slow down or stop to let crossing traffic and pedestrians pass before proceeding. At a yield sign, drivers should slow down or stop to give the right-of-way to other road users. Question 74. When are you required to use your headlights in California? A. Only during nighttime hours. B. From 30 minutes after sunset to 30 minutes before sunrise and when visibility is low. C. Whenever it is raining, regardless of the time of day. Answer. B. From 30 minutes after sunset to 30 minutes before sunrise and when visibility is low.
California law requires headlights to be used during these times and when visibility is reduced. Question 75. What should you do if you're involved in a minor traffic collision without injuries? A. Drive away from the scene immediately. B. Exchange information with the other driver and report the collision if required. C. Wait in your vehicle for the police to arrive. Answer. B. Exchange information with the other driver and report the collision if required. In a minor collision, it's important to exchange information and report the incident if necessary. Question 76. How do you determine the right-of-way at an uncontrolled intersection? A. The vehicle to the left has the right-of-way. B. The vehicle arriving first has the right-of-way. C. The larger vehicle has the right-of-way. Answer. B. The vehicle arriving first has the right-of-way. At an uncontrolled intersection, the first vehicle to arrive typically has the right-of-way. Question 77. What actions are required when driving through a construction zone? A. Maintain your regular speed. B. Slow down, obey signs, and be alert for workers and equipment. C. Speed up to pass the zone quickly. Answer. B. Slow down, obey signs, and be alert for workers and equipment. In a construction zone, it's important to reduce speed and be vigilant for the safety of workers and changing road conditions. Question 78. What does the left turn yield on green sign indicate, and how should drivers react? A. Left turns are prohibited at this signal. B. Proceed with the left turn without yielding. C. Yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians before turning. Answer. C. Yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians before turning. This sign means you must yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians before making a left turn on a green light. Question 79. How should you proceed when you see a road closed ahead sign? A. Find an alternate route since the road ahead is closed. B. Continue until you reach the closure to see if you can pass. C. Assume the sign is outdated and continue. Answer. A. Find an alternate route since the road ahead is closed. When you see a road closed ahead sign, it's best to find a different route as the road ahead is not passable. Question 80. What are the rules regarding making a right turn on a red light in California? A. You can always turn right on red unless a sign prohibits it. B. Right turns on red are never allowed. C. You must wait for the green light before turning right. Answer. A. You can always turn right on red unless a sign prohibits it. In California, you are allowed to make a right turn on a red light after stopping and ensuring it is safe to do so, unless a sign says otherwise. Question 81. What is the appropriate action if you approach a vehicle stopped at a crosswalk? A. Stop and wait for the vehicle to move. B. Pass the vehicle if no pedestrians are visible. C. Stop and check for pedestrians before proceeding. Answer. C. Stop and check for pedestrians before proceeding. Always stop and ensure the crosswalk is clear of pedestrians, as the stopped vehicle may be yielding to them. Question 82. How do you properly navigate through a traffic circle with multiple lanes? A. Choose the appropriate lane before entering and yield to traffic already in the circle. B. Always use the outermost lane regardless of your exit. C. Enter the circle without yielding, then change lanes to exit. Answer. A. Choose the appropriate lane before entering and yield to traffic already in the circle. It's important to select the correct lane based on your intended exit and yield to traffic already circulating in the circle. Question 83. What should you do if you become drowsy while driving? A. Open the window for fresh air and continue driving. B. Pull over to a safe location and take a break or switch drivers. C. Increase the volume of your radio to stay awake. Answer. B. Pull over to a safe location and take a break or switch drivers. 
If you feel drowsy, the safest action is to stop driving and rest or switch to a more alert driver. Question 84. How does a reduced speed ahead sign affect your driving speed? A. Maintain your current speed until you see the new speed limit sign. B. Gradually begin to slow down in anticipation of the reduced speed zone. C. Ignore the sign if traffic flow is steady. Answer. B. Gradually begin to slow down in anticipation of the reduced speed zone. This sign indicates that you should start reducing your speed in preparation for an upcoming lower speed limit. Question 85. What are the rules for passing a school bus with flashing red lights on a divided highway? A. Stop regardless of your direction of travel. B. Proceed without stopping if the bus is on the opposite side of a divided highway. C. Stop only if children are crossing the road. Answer. B. Proceed without stopping if the bus is on the opposite side of a divided highway. On a divided highway, you do not need to stop for a school bus with flashing red lights if you are on the opposite side of the divide. Question 86. How should you adjust your driving in response to a high wind advisory sign? A. Maintain your usual speed and driving pattern. B. Slow down and keep a firm grip on the steering wheel. C. Pull over and wait for the winds to subside. Answer. B. Slow down and keep a firm grip on the steering wheel. When encountering a high wind advisory, reduce speed and hold the steering wheel firmly to maintain control. Question 87. What actions should you take when approaching an animal crossing the road? A. Accelerate to scare the animal away. B. Slow down or stop to allow the animal to cross safely. C. Honk continuously to urge the animal to move faster. Answer. B. Slow down or stop to allow the animal to cross safely. If an animal is crossing the road, it's safest to slow down or stop and allow it to pass. Question 88. Describe the correct procedure for backing out of a parking space in a busy lot. A. Reverse quickly to minimize the time spent backing out. B. Check for pedestrians and vehicles, signal, and back out slowly. C. Honk before backing out to alert others. Answer. B. Check for pedestrians and vehicles, signal, and back out slowly. When backing out, ensure the area is clear of pedestrians and vehicles, signal your intent, and then reverse cautiously. Question 89. How should you respond to an ambulance approaching from the opposite direction on an undivided road? A. Keep driving as usual since the ambulance is not on your side of the road. B. Pull over to the right and stop until the ambulance passes. C. Only pull over if the ambulance uses its siren. Answer. B. Pull over to the right and stop until the ambulance passes. You should pull over and stop for an ambulance with flashing lights and sirens on, even on an undivided road. Question 90. What are the guidelines for using your vehicle's fog lights? A. Use them only in heavy fog and low visibility conditions. B. Fog lights should be used at all times for increased safety. C. Use them along with high beams in foggy conditions. Answer. A. Use them only in heavy fog and low visibility conditions. Fog lights are specifically designed for use in dense fog or other low visibility situations. Question 91. What precautions should be taken when driving near children playing near the road? A. Drive at the posted speed limit. B. Slow down and be prepared to stop quickly. C. Honk to alert the children of your presence. Answer. B. Slow down and be prepared to stop quickly. When driving near playing children, reduce your speed and be ready to stop, as children can be unpredictable. Question 92. How should you react to a flashing red signal at a railroad crossing? A. Stop and proceed only when the lights have stopped flashing. B. Slow down, look for trains and proceed if clear. C. The flashing red signal is a warning, but stopping is not mandatory. Answer. A. 
stop and proceed only when the lights have stopped flashing. A flashing red signal at a railroad crossing means you must stop and only proceed when it is safe and the lights have stopped. Question 93. What is the proper way to yield to emergency vehicles at an intersection? A. Continue through the intersection, then pull over. B. Stop in the intersection to allow the emergency vehicle to pass. C. Pull over to the right before the intersection. Answer. A. Continue through the intersection, then pull over. If you're in an intersection when an emergency vehicle approaches, continue through and then pull over to the right. Question 94. How do you handle a sudden loss of visibility while driving, such as in a dust storm? A. Continue driving at a reduced speed. B. Pull over to a safe location and wait for visibility to improve. C. Turn on high beams for better visibility. Answer. B. Pull over to a safe location and wait for visibility to improve. If you lose visibility suddenly, like in a dust storm, it's safest to pull over and wait until conditions improve. Question 95. What are the legal obligations of a driver when involved in a hit-and-run incident? A. Leave the scene immediately to avoid confrontation. B. Stop provide assistance if needed and report the incident to authorities. C. Report the incident only if there is significant damage. Answer. B. Stop provide assistance if needed and report the incident to authorities. In a hit-and-run situation, you are legally required to stop, provide assistance if necessary, and report the incident.